Welcome to Cook It Like a German. My name is Felice Tastene and today we make, ah no, we bake <gasps> pretzel. Of course, I'm not baking alone. I have a guest today, Diana Vary from Canada. Hello, very excited to be here and very excited to see what we're making. So nice to have you here. Have you ever met pretzels before? Never. No. No, I'm excited though. It's one of my favorite German treats. So let's bake it like a German. Okay, so we need a dough, a yeast dough. So why do you want to learn how to cook German? Well, I want to be able to make some German food for my family back home. You know, they're going to want to know what I learned during my time in Germany. So I think pretzels is a good way to start. Okay, for our pretzels, we need regular wheat flour. I have some milk and some yeast. So you can just break the yeah. yeast apart, yeah? Okay. This is All good? Right. Yeah. All right. And Take now we need the milk. The milk. Have you ever made a yeast dough before? No. No? No. I bake cookies, muffins, but bread is not my specialty. So this is very new to me. Okay, what else do we need? Um, a little bit of sugar, mm -hmm. because yeast loves sugar. Salt. And now you can start kneading. Okay, so okay. you want me to go yeah. straight in? All right. How long have you been living in Germany for? Uh, four years. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so I moved here from Toronto. Um, I visited Berlin. Um, the summer before I moved and I absolutely fell in love with it and then I decided to move here for work. Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens to everybody, right? Everyone comes for a holiday and they, okay, and maybe I will stay. It's amazing. The vibe of the city, so, everything. So what do you love? So what do you love about Berlin? I love the vibe of the city, you know, just the people here are so accepting, uh, so fun. Um, the art scene here, the party scene here. So do you also love the food scene here in Berlin? Yes, actually uh, Berlin's pretty cool because it's a very vegan friendly city, very vegetarian friendly city, so I love it for that. And there's a lot of traditional German food that you can make vegan too. Like knuckle of pork? No. <laughs> <laughs> Meatballs? No. Uh, Kartoffel salad. Kartoffel salad, yes, yeah. Yes, I love that. <laughs> if you want to know more about German food, you can watch our other videos of Cook It Like a German and you can subscribe to DW Food. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> okay, is you can, done? I, no. No? No, it has to be I've very really smooth. I've never baked this like, like that. <laughs> Shall I show you how to do it? Yeah, please. Whenever you make a yeasty dough, mm -hmm. put in the butter later because okay. yeast loves sugar, but it doesn't really love Fat. The fat. Okay. So, okay. And we want the dough to rise later, so right. that's why we put in the butter later. And now you can really right. knead it, you know. <laughs> no. So what's your favorite German food? My favorite German food. I do love kartoffel salad. Ah. Yes, I love it. Um, um, like I find that here, the kartoffel salad is made with vinegar, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas in Canada, it's made with mayo. Mm -hmm. nice. In some parts of Germany, we make it with mayo too. But right. um, my version is also with with, with vinegar. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that with a pretzel at the beer garden. So good. Okay, shall I do it for you? Yes, please. Okay. As soon as the dough is as soft as a pillow. Okay. Yes, very pillow-like texture. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. that's impressive how it got like that. <laughs> it's all about kneading. Okay. So, now we need a wet towel. Okay. So, to make sure that the dough stays soft. Mm -hmm. And now we have to wait for about an hour. Okay, so, look at this dough. Great. Double, double in size. size. Yeah. I know that that's a good thing. Yeah, it's it a good to thing. Double. Okay. Yeah. And now, I let you do it. I love to. I have to poke finger. it. Yeah, okay. I love it. Yeah. How yeah. many times? Just once? It's just for fun. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was part of the technique. No. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will make some space and then we'll, we'll and then we will make the pretzels. Okay. Yay! Ooh. So this is the shape we are looking for. Yes. Where do you want me to put it? Just right here. Right here. You know, I did a photo shoot with the pretzel once. Yeah, I saw it on my YouTube <laughs> yeah. channel. Um, that was so, a lot of fun. <laughs> so what are you doing in Germany? Um, so I came here to work for a tech company, uh, but four years ago I started sharing my experience uh, as an expat living abroad. 
um, you know, about the German culture, how I moved here. And so I've been helping people move to Germany who want to work here in English speaking jobs. And I did a photo shoot with a pretzel for my first ebook, Thrive in Germany. Oh, okay. So I thought it was very appropriate. <laughs> so if you guys want to move to Germany as well, you can call her and get some tips, right? Yes, of course. My YouTube channel um, has all the info for that. You will find it in the info box below. Okay, now we have to divide the dough into equal pieces. Okay. I think it's enough for, let's say, eight pretzels. Mm -hmm. See. Normally, the pretzels are more known for the south of Germany, mm -hmm. but I think we eat here as well. Yes. But Beer Garden is a very good place to the find best. Um, the pretzels. Do Even you like a lot of salt on your pretzels? Yes, I love it. Okay, me too. Yeah? I know it's an ongoing debate. Yeah, yeah. but I think it has to be on before. I mean, you could get rid of it, but you need it. Yeah, it has to be there. It's the right way to do it. Exactly. That's a good ratio. But I think maybe That's... we need a little bit more salt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that this shape should be like when you cross your arms? Okay. The same? Yes. Yeah. That's where it comes that makes from. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so everyone gets one. Okay. And now you have to form it into a very long strip. Okay. Make sure that it's longer than your arm. And like with a pretzel, yes. it has to be thicker in the middle. Okay. But we have time, so no worries. <laughs> so, what's your favorite Canadian food? I love poutine. Do you know what poutine is? Yes. Yes, okay. So that maybe not everyone else knows. So. Yes, so it's uh, french fries with gravy and the special type of cheese called cheese curds that melts and it's very salty. Um, it's, it's a very weird dish. It's, it's weird. You, it's a, an acquired taste, but it's very good after a night out to have it too. And to be honest, <laughs> everyone loves fries, everyone loves cheese and gravy. Yes, so. yeah, you can't really go wrong with it. Um, <clears throat> too thin. Yeah, yeah I'm just trying to make it a little bit more equal. More equal, okay. So maybe after we but, do it. I mean, it's your first time you're working with a bread dough. So yes. Did you cook a lot when you were at home as a child? Um, I watched my mom cook, so I picked up a lot of like her techniques for cooking. Uh, my parents are from Colombia. Ah, yeah. Oh, I wanted to go to Colombia. Yeah. Corona came. <laughs> yeah, it's such a beautiful, fun country, and the food's really great too. Like there's uh, empanadas, which are very popular there, and arepas, which are a corn patty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with cheese also. So, so my mom was always making that at home. Okay, so I will show you how to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Down here. Ah, uh, okay. And push down the edges. Okay. Awesome. That's your first pretzel, it's a baby pretzel, fine. I'm so proud of this. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Sick. <laughs> Cute, huh? And there are also regional differences, like in Bavaria, this part is thicker and this is thinner, and in Swabia it's the other way around, and then... Okay. <laughs> but we do our Berlin pretzels. Yes. And every pretzel looks different, different. like in like Germany. Berlin. Yeah! yeah. Now we have to wait for another 20 minutes okay. for, the, for the dough to rise and then we bake it. Okay, we will just cover it. Okay, and the white towel. Okay. Before we bake the pretzels, we have to do one very special thing because pretzels are very brown. Mm -hmm. It's not because we leave them in for too long, <laughs> but we bathe them in baking soda. That's why we put <laughs> baking soda into our water. Okay. I do it. All uh -huh. of it? All of it? All right. Yes. Magic. Magic. A little bit of salt, just for a taste. Oh, okay, you do it. Okay. And now? Stir it up. Yeah, right. no, we just very gently. We don't want to ruin our nice pretzels. Mm -hmm. Gently in? Yes, put it in. For how long? 
maybe 30 seconds. Just make sure that they are all covered. Just okay. Press it down? Yeah, love it. Press it down. Perfect. Mm. Yay! We are almost done. What is missing now? Salt. Yes. Butter. <laughs> The butter comes later? The butter later, okay. Okay, the pretzel obviously has one significant slush here. So we need that one. Yes. I will make it and then you can put on the salt. Awesome. Make sure to really cut through. Mm -hmm. And not cut through, but cut deep enough. Okay, and now the salt. Okay. So just go all over or? Yeah, no, I think only the thick part is with salt. Don't be too shy. We love the salt. Okay. Don't we? Of course, it's the best part. To the oven. Oh, <laughs> salt everywhere. <laughs> a good pretzel needs something, and that is garlic butter. Yes. <laughs> Normally, people just eat regular butter, but yes. we make a very herby, nice garlic butter. You want to cut the garlic or the herbs? Um, I'll go with the garlic. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you told me before that you don't I'm really like. I'm not very good at cutting. Like my, my friends always get freaked out that I'm gonna cut my fingers or something, but I'll You try. know what? <laughs> we will just grind the garlic okay, so it's perfect. easier. Yes. Okay. So you get a knife to get rid of the peel. Mm -hmm. no, hey, should but, I show you a trick? Yeah, I, do you press yeah. it down? Okay. <laughs> okay, you could do it like this, you know. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because we need the sides. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I always usually just chop the sides off. Yeah. This is better. Easy, huh? And I have some parsley okay. and some chives, but you could use whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. Tarragon would work, or you could also do dill. So, what's your favorite yes. herb? Cilantro. Cilantro. You yes. can use cilantro. I love cilantro. Well, this is not German at all. At all. <laughs> but I think the Germans slowly learn to use cilantro as well. Yes. It's an acquired taste as well. Yeah. You either love it or hate it. <laughs> the butter, make sure that it's soft, otherwise mm -hmm. it's very hard to mix. Okay, and then, yeah, just, just here. Yeah. What's oh, your fingernails? Fuck. Yeah. Perfect. In with the parsley. And for a fatty twist, it's only my taste because obviously. Love the lemon. I love the lemon. <laughs> so that's why. A little bit of lemon zest. And I love the freshness and the yes. taste. That's not very German at all, but it's very fatty. <laughs> Smell it? <sighs> yes. It smells like pretzels. Amazing. Doesn't it? Okay, let's see. <gasps> the color is so good. Good, huh? Yeah. Yay! Wow. So, what do you think? Perfect amount of salt. The color looks great, and mine looked beautiful. We did an amazing job. We did. I'm so proud of myself. You can. <laughs> and thank you for teaching me. So we baked like a German. <laughs>
I really hope that you enjoyed our pretzel video. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to DW Food. See you next time.